inspired by, in my own, by my own childhood. Um, but going into schools is, is, a, is a very interesting thing and, um, because obviously if you go to festivals, on the whole you're meeting, you're meeting families who are very driven and see the importance of reading and books and things. And when you go into schools, they've often invited you in because they've got a librarian or a head or a teacher who really values books and, and understands how important it is to read. And occasionally you'll go into a school um, that <clears throat> we've chosen just because we really wanted to go there. And there was, there was one school I remember in Bristol, um, and I remember going there, it was in a very, very deprived area, and we particularly chose it because we wanted to go somewhere where they never ever got um, a children's writer or illustrator to come in. And um, we went to the library and we were waiting and waiting and waiting and they didn't turn up. One school didn't turn up at all because they couldn't get any transport and the other, the other that came was only a few children. And um, it was really heartbreaking um, because you, it was in this beautiful sort of landscape and you couldn't really understand how, you know, how, how are these, you know, how has this happened that this school is so impoverished, these children have such a raw deal and, um, and then when they came and listened it, it, was, it was lovely to talk to them but they didn't really know the kind of questions to ask, they just talked to me about themselves which was really interesting and, and rewarding to hear but they didn't really know how to talk about books because maybe nobody ever had talked to them about books before and I think it was that that made me feel really passionate about getting involved um, in work really um, uh, talking about books with children that really don't have so much and so when UNESCO approached me to go and um, uh, work with them and they had a tiny program called the Education uh, for children in need and they're the children who live in the worst of circumstances around the world um, uh, child soldiers and people who are living through terrible wars and things and, and my particular thing I was very interested in was working with um, street children partly because I'd written a book called That Pesky Rat which is all about an animal that's been neglected and unloved and it was a very good vehicle to then talk to children about their own situation and talk to children who don't know what it's like to be in that situation and seem to think it's something very remote from them but actually we all have these things in common um, and